We're going to continue to talk about EVA, or Economic Value Added. And in this video, we're going to focus on the calculation of EVA. So let's jump right into this. The important thing to know about EVA is that there's two different formulas. There's two ways you can calculate EVA. And the interesting thing is, each formula gives you the exact same answer. But the reason why there's two formulas is that each one of these formulas tells you something different and valuable about your company. So in this video, we're just going to focus on one of the formulas. So let's, let's walk through this. Here you see that EVA equals NOPAT minus WAC times capital. So your NOPAT net is net operating profit after taxes. That's your profit. WAC is your weighted average cost of capital. And that represents the riskiness of your business. And capital is the assets, or the, the amount of funds that the investor is investing in your business. And so what you see is that this follows the same format we've been discussing, where EVA equals no PAT minus a capital charge. And in this case, capital charge is WAC times your capital. And this is because WAC represents the riskiness of your business. So if your WAC is, let's say, 15%, that's the risk level of your business, if you look at um, the capital that we're talking about, the assets we're talking about, 15% times your assets will give you the amount of assets that are at risk. And that's what we're trying to understand. And this becomes our capital charge. So then when we have our capital charge, or the assets that are at risk, we compare that against the NOPAT, or your profit. And profit minus the capital charge is your economic value added. So let's stop here for a moment and think about what it is we're doing here in this equation. You can think of investors as a manufacturing plant. Uh, and this is a little bit of an unusual example, but just go with me. <laughs> Um, in a manufacturing plant, you have inputs, you have production cost, and then you have outputs. So your inputs would be supplies, the supplies come in, and then you produce some kind of product in your plant, and you incur production costs. And then you have outputs, so the products go out of the production plant and you sell them for a profit. Well, investors are really doing the same thing, except instead of supplies, they have capital. <laughs> and instead of a finished product, they're producing profits. So the thing that we want to understand is this production cost. What's this cost that's being incurred? And for an investor, it's your cost of capital. It's the cost of the risk you're holding. Because investors are putting this capital into a business and then it's going to sit there. And the cost they're incurring is the cost of this risk that they're holding. The risk level of the business is this cost for the investor. Because if you remember, um, if you remember our discussion on WAC, um, it's based on riskiness. And so there's this level of uncertainty uh, there's a, there might be a 15% chance that you're not going to get your money. So you're going to discount your investments by that 15%. There's this cost out there that you think you might realize. And you have to represent that cost. So in EVA, we're taking our profit minus our cost, and that's the economic value added. That's how investors think about putting their capital to work. So, <laughs> the main takeaway of all of this, what I want to emphasize in this video, is that we're all investors. I don't care what it is that you do. If you're a business owner, 
or a business executive, or an employee in a company. We're all investors. And what I mean by that is, we all have resources at our disposal that we're allocating for whatever purpose in our business organization, right? This is an investment activity. These are financial decisions we're making, right? And it deals with capital, it deals with a level of risk, and it deals with expected profit. And so we can use EVA to help us make financial decisions. And it's the same way that investors use EVA to make investing decisions. Even if the only resource we have is time, you're still allocating that for your business purpose. And especially if you have a lot of opportunities that you're evaluating, EVA can give you, it can be a tool, a very powerful tool for you to look at these different opportunities, to assess what are your assumptions about these different opportunities, and what would be the economic value added I expect from each of these opportunities. And once you know that, then you can allocate your resources more effectively. So, in the next video, we're going to talk about the second formula. And we're going to talk about something called spread.